The internal wrangling in the new Nigeria People's Party is beginning to take a new turn after the nullification of Governor Abba Yusuf's victory, and it was confirmed by the Kano State Election Petition Tribunal. Reacting to the verdict, one of the chieftains of the NNPP in the Southwest, Alaji Abbas Akonde Onilewuwa, in a statement said the loss of the party in Kano corroborated the anti-party allegation raised against Rabiu Kwankwaso, former presidential candidate of the party. Joining us now on the uh, on Newsday is Buba Galadima, a chieftain of the new Nigerian People's Party and NPP. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Tofi. Uh, yes, and Hawa. There's a lot uh, to say about this uh, ruling, this judgment. Can you give us your own opinion uh, on the ruling and how you feel about uh, it going forward? Well, uh, Tope, I, we received with the shock uh, the verdict of the tribunal uh, on Wednesday, nullifying the election of uh, engineer Abba Kabir Yusuf and uh, declaring Al Haji Yusuf Gauna as the elected governor of uh, Kano, Kano State. We, we uh, personally, I feel it is a it was a miscarriage of justice, and uh, I'm going to speak forcefully on why I think so. But uh, before going into the details of what had happened on that day, I think I have to take the public back a little bit so that uh, they have a, a background information or a history as to how this happened or why it happened. Uh, I thought Nigerians will reflect back to 2019, where Governor Abba Kabir Yusuf contested against uh, uh, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje. And uh, Abba Kabir Yusuf defeated Ganduje that time with a margin of about 26,000 votes. The electoral body, in its wisdom, uh, declared that the election was inconclusive because they canceled the votes and the difference between the two candidates is, is, is more. And uh, they forced a rerun where the APC brought thugs from Kaduna, Kasina, Jigawa, even Bauchi, and uh, so many states of the Federation, and Kogi armed. And everybody has seen them on camera to forcefully uh, put, I mean, support Ganduje and wrote figures for him. And that was affirmed by the judiciary subsequently. That was the beginning. And uh, we appealed to our supporters then to be calm uh, and uh, there would be another day. Because we felt then that there was a grand conspiracy by those in power, both in Kano and Abuja, to make sure that the Kano people come out, especially the scholars trained by engineer Rabi Musa Konkoso, whom the authority and the oppressors feel that uh, Konkoso was opening the eyes of the poor or giving opportunities and privileges to the poor to match they are God ordained in their opinion, their children. So we asked them, we come to them now down, and so came this election of 2003. And uh, I would also want the public to reflect back the altercation between engineer Abba Kabir Yusuf as the candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party in Kano and the wife of the director general of the National Security Organization, I mean, the Directorate of Security Organization, Al-Haji Bichi, at the airport in Kano. 
and uh, forcefully, the wife stopped Abba Kabir Yusuf from boarding the plane, taking him to Abuja. And she made some uncomplimentary remarks and vowed to make sure that Abba Kabir Yusuf does not become the governor of Kano State. I don't want to say the reason, because those that I speak about know the reason why that happened. I'm just giving this as a background that a difference of 26,000 with which Abba Kabir Yusuf defeated uh, Ganduje in 2016, the court, the, the, the electoral body declared the election inconclusive. So in this election, officially, officially accepted by INEC, Abba Kabir Yusuf defeated Nasru Yusuf Gauna by a margin of about 127,000 votes. And in the wisdom of the electoral body, Abba Kabir Yusuf was declared the winner of that election. Even though, even at the collection center, it was on record that APC protested that the canceled votes that time was more than the marginal, the, the, the margin of difference between Gauna and Abba Kabir uh, Yusuf. And that time, it was in the region of over 200,000 votes. But the question to ask is, who induced those violence? It is on record that APC never went to, in that election to win because they know on adult suffrage, they wouldn't have won any election in Kano. They were, they were, they were, they were using their privileged position of having a central government and a government in Kano. But despite all that, and despite their suppression of the votes of Abba Kabir Yusuf to the tune of 600,000 votes, he was still able to make that margin of 128,000. That was why he was declared by INEC. So they went to court. Issues were raised, issues were addressed, and, and uh, they, they complained that INEC shouldn't have declared Abba Kabir Yusuf because the margin of victory is less than the induced, the induced cancelled votes of about 200 uh, southern. So they brought in witnesses. And, and they complained on, on about 1,296 pulling units then. So, uh, but when they brought witnesses, they were, only, uh, they were only able to bring 32 witnesses complaining about 32 32 pulling units. And when you take, and when the, 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 the witnesses were questioned, because before you come to the tribunal to, to, give, to, give, to give evidence, you must have uploaded your name, your picture, and which pulling units you want to complain about. So those who, who those who, came as witnesses, were never agents in those polling stations. So it means the entire exercise of bringing those 32 people was a nullity in law. However, even if they were correct agents and witnesses, the entire votes in those 32 polling units was less than 30,000 uh, uh, registered voters. So it couldn't have made a difference in the 222,000 uh, 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 votes that were cancelled. So they brought another issue that in the election, votes were, uh, the ballot papers were not stamped, ballot papers were not, uh, 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 they, uh, were, were not signed by the presiding officers. So the issue was brought before the court. 
and the court, and, 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 and they invited one person called uh, Harbo uh, from the University of Bayero, who they claimed to be an expert. None of those ballot papers that was brought before the court in Sachs was removed, was, 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 uh, was, uh, was, uh, Alhaji Galadima, allow me to interrupt Hello. you for can the you? sake of time. Yes, yes I can I'm still coming, hear I'm you. I'm, uh, can uh, you hear me now? Because you are, you are. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, now I would like to interrupt you. I thank no, you listen. so much for giving us the detailed no, no, explanation. No, 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 no. If you, if you, if you, if you interrupt me, the world will not, will not know what had happened. So it is better for you to allow me to dep to to deposit everything that has happened, so that the world will now know what is happening, because this case has got three legs. One is legal, one is political, and one is moral. So I am now dealing with the legal issue. I have not even come to the political issue, let alone the morality in this issue. So, and uh, they, in the sacks, those bullet papers were, and he claimed that those papers were not either signed by the electoral officers, or those ballot papers uh, had no stamp on them, or both. They were not put before everybody in the courtroom to assess. The primary evidence of what those ballot papers should be were the presiding officers that conducted the election. Those were, that's the primary evidence. And in that evidence, all the presiding officers or the electoral officers who conducted the election certified those ballot papers. So the onus is documentary based on the verdict of the electoral officers. Nobody, if it is not put to be seen because for them to authenticate. However, the 165, 165 Southern votes have not been divided into how many of them that were, were, had no signature of the pre, uh, electoral officers at the polling units? How many of them don't have the stamp of INEC on the polling units? Or how many of them that don't have both? So you cannot, if you have not done this division to find out how many of them had, not, had no stamp, how many of them had no, had no uh, what do you call, signature, or how, how many of them had no boss? You cannot determine to who those ballot papers either belong or which of them is going to be nullified. Because it is the opinion of the electoral officers in this case, INEC, the primary witness, that uh, should be considered. However, the electoral law gave the judge an opportunity to look into this. But even in looking into this, it must be done in the presence of everybody not in when the when the when the system is in when it is not when somebody just come and dump it uh, before the court and for the court to take decision this is one aspect of the legal issue the other aspect is the issue of uh, cancel the votes for which the, 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 the appellant failed to establish through, uh, through either documentary evidence or through physical witness that there was violence in this. But in the findings of the tribunal, in their own wisdom, they accepted that all the 165,000 votes belong to Abba Kabir Yusuf, and that all of them, all of them, without citing the, 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 the ballot papers, all of them are unsigned. All of them have no stamp. All of them have both. How, how did that happen? In whose court? That is our, that's our fear. So this now leads us to the issue of margin. The APC cannot eat their cake and have it. Just last four years, they used the same issue against Abba Kabir Yusuf to deny him victory of being the governor of Kano State. Now this time, 
they want to use the same uh, 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 argument against him when it is exactly the same case. And the judge now said, in their findings, in their findings, the tribunal said that there was violence, there was, uh, there was uh, what do you call it, in the polling units that affected over 222,000 uh, votes. If that is the case, if I were them, I could have said it's okay. If, you, if, if, it is, if, it, if this 200,000 votes is more than the margin between Kabir, Abba Kabir Yusuf and uh, Gauna of 128,000, then the, the best thing could have been to say, go for a runoff. That would have been justice. But you see, the issue is that it is not, the political aspect of it is that APC has a central government. They control the judiciary to a certain extent. Everybody in Nigeria knows that and believes in that now. And uh, they control the security. So they I'm put pressure the on the judges that this, this, I'm coming, I'm coming. We are that running this, out of this, time. This, this we are running out of time. Was read. So we are running out I'm of coming. time. Kindly, uh, kindly you allow me. You called me to explain. We are, but I'm you so called sorry. me to explain. We are running out, we are running out of time. We've heard you. You believe that you know, there, there was miscarriage of justice. But then there are some people within your own party that believe there's also internal sabotage involved. For instance, one of the chieftains in your party believes you know, that your presidential candidate is in alliance with the APC that is sold out, possibly for a ministerial nomination. And that could have influenced what happened at the petition, election petition tribunal. What do you make of that? So you believed him? That's why I'm asking you. My opinion APC, doesn't APC matter. APC. You are like, here no, to explain. No, can you ask me? Uh, no, no, listen, listen. It's OK, listen to me. So Kwong so is in alliance with the APC. They didn't give him ministerial appointment. And they took his governor by force when they abducted the, the judges and took them to a place we don't know, from where they made a Zoom, a Zoom uh, 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 declaration of, uh, of uh, verdict. So that's alliance, in your own opinion. So with this kind of friend, you don't need an enemy. Maybe the man that is saying that was paid to come and say it because he does not, he's in, in the other faction, uh, I mean, he's in the other group that were expelled from the party. So what I'm trying to tell you is that in the case of Kano, this judgment cannot stand unless the judiciary is forced to do what they don't like. Uh, That's my opinion. Thank you for your opinion. But do you have any fears that there could be any type of uh, unrest as a result of this uh, situation? We know that there was a curfew that was uh, initiated. Um, do you think things are dying down? Look, look, I hope uh, this country, Nigeria, is trying to declare war on Niger for, for, for a military coup. Are you aware of that topic? Yes, I'm aware. Through ECOWAS? Definitely, I'm aware. Ah. So what is the difference between what happened in Kano then and the coup in Niger? I'm sure you could explain for us. How, how can I explain? Because it seems like you're on their side. We're on. Uh, Mr. Galadima, thank you uh, for answering that. But I was asking uh, if you fear that there would be any kind of uh, unrest. Whether, is that something you fear or don't fear? Look, if you, are ask, if, you are, if you are sent to ask that question from me, you are asking the wrong person. But I want to t volunteer one information for you. All issues of instability aclo across the world is due to injustice. If they, have done, if they do justice, there would be no violence. Nobody will complain. But if they do injustice, it will ever haunt them. It will follow them even to their graves. Well, definitely, we know that um, the 
your governor should, the governor has promised, you know, that he's not going to, that he'll be appealing the verdict. He has described it as daylight robbery. But I'm wondering how optimistic are you that the Supreme Court, you know, will overturn day, this day, ruling? Daylight, 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 the uh, judiciary and, 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 and security coup in Kano. So do you have faith? In the higher court, do you have faith that this verdict will be overturned, that indeed justice will be served, since you believe well, there's well, been a miscarriage well, of justice? Well, it's, 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 le it's, it's, it's left for them. The judiciary should do a self-examination and look at it is former officers, retired justices, who had done a miscarriage of justice from the last 20 years, I mean, from 1999 to today. What is their health condition? How those of them who died, how did they die? They should do a self-examination to see that God is not asleep. You as a man can do what you want to do, but God is waiting for you at the corner. Out of so the... Doing justice, is, 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 this is, they have sworn to dispense justice without fear or favor. We would want to see that apparently happen. All right. Um, with 165,663 votes uh, deducted, they were apparently deemed not certified by INEC in this uh, particular case. That's a large number of, uh, of oversight or uh, discrepancies with the uh, electoral body. A lot of uh, discussion for the last couple of months has been on the amount of responsibility what amount of it should INEC be sharing in this whole situation? Do you have any opinions on how such a large amount of votes could have uh, not have been certified in the correct manner before finally being approved ward by ward? Well, uh, let me first of all say that uh, I wasn't at the tribunal when it, they were making their sittings. But 165,000 votes is a large number that cannot be contemplated in, even in a presidential election. For it to happen in Kano, there is more than meets the eye for all Nigerians to know. So it must have been induced or it, it must have been procured by certain elements in the polity. However, how can the fault of INEC affect another individual if we are looking for justice, not technicalities. Did Abba Kabir Yusuf went to stop INEC from signing or from stamping or both of the, of, the, of the ballot papers? Was it his fault? Abba Kabir Yusuf has been elected by the people of Kano overwhelmingly. So it should, they should, the judiciary should allow him to be, irrespective of the pressure we know those who are eyeing 2027 are doing. And they want to get, the, the, you see, the whole issue is not about Abba Kabir Yusuf. The whole issue is about Senator Rabi Musa Konkoso, whose votes they have suppressed across the country. And they fear that in 2027, if he has an oxygen of a government like Kano, because the last time in 2019, they said Kano is too important to be left in the hands of opposition. So is that, is that dogma that they are still carrying ahead to the future? So if you want to deal with Konkoso, take Konkoso as an individual and deal with him. If you don't like Galadima, we lay him and shoot him in one corner. Don't, don't, don't carry their cross and put on the shoulders of innocent citizens like Abba Kabir Yusuf. Hello, Jibuba Galadima. I'm very sure you're not advocating.